Kelly from Lockbar Knits coming to you from a somewhat about to be stormy <laughs> Nova Scotia, Canada. Um, March is uh, not being kind <laughs> so far. Uh, and I'm just going to move this in. I have like a really very limited time. I'm just adjusting everything. <laughs> My husband's gone out to Costco. I don't have a lot of knitting to show you. And the battery on the phone uh, was on low battery mode and I juiced it up for about 20 minutes. So I'm hoping, and it's plugged in right now to my computer. So hopefully we'll be okay. Anyways, welcome <laughs> to episode 72. Uh, so administration, you can find all of the places to find me right underneath. I'm most active on Instagram. I have two handles on there. One is at Lockbriar Knits and the other one is at Kelly L. Boyce. Lockbriar Knits is mostly dedicated to my um, my hand dyed yarn business and anything kind of related to that. And the other one is more of a personal account so you get like a lot of knitting stuff but also other slice of life blah blah blah. So Fill your boots, check them both out. Love to have you. And also there's a Ravelry um, page, group. <laughs> I knew that didn't sound right. <laughs> uh, Ravelry group over on, oddly enough, Ravelry uh, for the podcast Lockbar Knits. Um, it's not very active um, and I really should be kind of more involved in that, but sometimes there's only so many hours in a day. Um, <laughs> And it's a bit of a quiet group, so feel free to go over and make some noise. And uh, I got to kind of be a little more active over there, too, I think. Anyway, uh, there's also a Facebook page, uh, Lockbar Knits, and my hand dyed. Did you hear that? It's really blustery, and my shovels are blowing around on the front deck. <laughs> so if you hear what sounds like the ceiling is falling in, that's just the shovels blowing around. Uh, so it was <laughs> hand dyed yarn, uh, can be found on Etsy uh, as uh, and the shop name is Lockbar Knits. So let's jump right in since I've kind of only got a small amount of time. Today's tea is in my, let me see if I, yeah, let's see if I can do it this way. In my David's tea mug, with the uh, the one that kind of like changes colors as the heat hits it. Um, and I should probably take the top off or it's gonna be way too hot to drink. Um, I have my double bergamot tea from Stash today. I felt like something, um, something was a bit of a kick to it. And I'm almost out of my lemon tea, so I, I have to get to the grocery store. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's about all we have for the admin. Thank you to all of the, uh, returning viewers for coming back again. And to all of the new viewers, welcome. We had a large burst of new people join since the last podcast. And the last podcast, I said, when we reach 500, um, I would do a giveaway and I was thinking that would probably take like, you know, probably about a month. I usually pick up a couple of new viewers, like won't, you know, after each podcast. But we blew past 500. When I checked this morning, I think we were at 525. So we're well over the 500 mark. And that means I am going to be doing a giveaway. But since it happened so fast, I'm not prepared. So what I'm going to do, I do have a couple of things collected, but I want to make this a really good uh, giveaway. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend the next couple of weeks kind of collecting some stuff for the giveaway. And then I'll show you what it is next episode and how you can join in on the giveaway, which is probably going to be down below. <laughs> I'll probably do like a question and then you answer the question and you'll be entered in. And then I think there's a random comment generator, kind of like the random number generator that you can choose. So I'll have to figure that one out, but that's for future Kelly. <laughs> uh, so I do have a finished object and I finished this all last night. Da -da -da, my spiced cider socks. 
Yay, two, two socks. <laughs> because uh, I've noticed I've sort of started to wear through the toe of my two, about two pairs of my hand knit socks. And I don't have a whole lot of hand knit socks because it seems the hand knit socks I knit are, always seem to go to other people uh, around Christmas time and stuff like that. So um, I got to get on the stick and just knit myself some socks for a bit before I switch over to knitting Christmas gifts or whatnot. But this is a Spice Cider from a Homespun House. And this is beautiful yarn. This is her soft sock base. Um, so I, I love her yarn. I'm going, to, <laughs> I'm going to miss ordering her yarn while she moves back to Germany. Um, but I have to say, uh, if any of you watch Homespun House, um, she's actually, Molly is the first, uh, knitting podcast that I ever stumbled across and it got me totally hooked. So, um, I, at the time she was still in Germany and then they moved back to the US. Now they're moving back to Germany. When she was in Germany, I would just like watch all of the kind of footage of them being out and about and I would just be like drooling. I just want to go there so bad. It's so pretty. I love Europe. <laughs> so I'm kind of excited <laughs> for them to return so I can just live vicariously through them. Um, but anyways, this is just my regular, these are my I Heart You um, sock blockers. And I never actually use sock blockers unless I'm showing something on the podcast. These are the small version because I have like mini feet. <laughs> so um, I just did, I did the, oh, I got the hiccups. I did the twisted rib and here is where... And I did, um, oh my God, <laughs> clearly two cups of coffee this morning was not enough. I did, um, magic loop and this is here and here where there's a little bit of laddering, uh, is where I had the issue with, um, when I was doing the twisted rib that where it joined kind of at the beginning of the row on the magic loop. Could not figure out what I was doing wrong. I thought maybe I was not pulling, or I was pulling the yarn too tight when I joined it. So then on the next one, I tried to do it a little loose and I just realized my, I don't think my ribbing is quite as high on the second one. Um, so you can kind of see see like this one here laddered a little bit and then again there <laughs> and my glasses on uh right there it laddered a little bit but it didn't ladder in the sock part so I don't know I can't figure out what I was doing but honestly do I care no <laughs> Not, if it was a gift for somebody else, I'd probably kind of soak and block them and see if that just sort of brought everything a little more cohesive. But these are for me and I really love them and they're uh, super soft. So I can't wait to put them on. I love the colors in them. This is sort of washes it out a bit, but this was one of her color, one of her Christmas colorways. And it's got like this lovely sort of caramel and then like pops of red and purple and it's just it's so beautiful um now I got actually I think it's my own hair not the fiber that was tickling my nose um so that's it that's my one and only um finished objects this week I do not have a lot of knitting to show you last week was the move of our office which I had to pretty much pack everything that wasn't in somebody's office. Uh, so I had to pack all of the file cabinets, all of the main areas. I had to label everything of where it went in the new office, all of the kitchen stuff, all of the like stationery, all of the boardroom and the meeting room. Every, like seriously, not a one person job. Ended up being a one person job. Uh, as well as my own like 
desk and all that stuff. Uh, plus, you know, hiring the movers and then staying until 1030 at night while they moved it all out of the office. Um, so last week was honestly just a complete shit show. I was so exhausted. I'd been carrying and lugging big bins. So by the end of the day, my hands were all cramped up. So I didn't get a lot of knitting done because my hands were so sore. Um, and I was so stressed. I really needed to knit. So I tried to do like maybe about 15 or 20 minutes a night. Um, and, uh, <laughs> Just to, you know, get the stress out. So, Friday night was the night of the move. And uh, then Saturday, I was, too, <laughs> I was too exhausted to do anything. And then Sunday, I kind of picked up my knitting again. But then Sunday was also the day everything was getting moved into the new office, which thankfully I did not have to be involved in uh, because um, one of our the guys in our office volunteered to do that day. Thank God. Chris, I love you. Um, so he handled all of that. Then I showed up on Monday and had to catch up on all of the work <laughs> that I didn't get done the prior week because I was moving everything. I uh, also had to unpack my office and all of the main areas, which I still have not completed yet because there's just too much shit. <laughs> and then uh, I also had to catch up uh, on all of the work that was due this week. Um, so this week I didn't get much knitting done because I would just come home and <laughs> be a little incoherent and just like, <laughs> I was so stressed out. I was so stressed out because it was like, you feel like you're being pulled in about 15 different directions and you're not getting any help. And you know, everybody took care of their own space. But then again, I had to take care of, you know, all of the other spaces <laughs> while doing all of my <laughs> own work. So that was fun. Um, and then uh, the good thing is the new office. It's in a green building, um, like, so it's very environmental. It's got, uh, it's also sort of very um, geared towards healthy employees, healthy kind of lifestyle. So they have like an outdoor workout area. They have, out, they have um, places underground to, in the parking lot to, um, store your bike they have showers down there if you've gone like out biking at lunchtime or whatever honestly I would not bike through the industrial park if my life depended on it but <laughs> you know to each their own <laughs> um and then uh they've got like yeah so it's kind of like a green building I think it's called Leeds Gold is the certification I don't know what that stands for but um Come summertime, there's going to be like outside eating areas, like and everything. So it's really nice. It's really nice. It's also a 13 minute drive from my home. And yes, I timed it. <laughs> if I've got no traffic at all, I can probably get there in like 10 to 12. So uh, that part I love. And I'm sure once uh, I get everything unpacked, hopefully things will run a little smoother. But needless to say, it's been an exhausting week, so there hasn't been a lot of knitting. That was a long story for a short statement. Um, but I did finish one thing, <laughs> and I did make some progress on my sweater. So, la, 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 la. Um, I'm doing the Childhood by Anka Strick. Strick? I keep wanting to say strict. It's strict with a K on the end, not a T. Um, so if you'll remember last week, I was in, I think I was probably, let's see if I can do this, probably like around here maybe. Uh, and there was a whole lot of increasing and short rows and it was like nothing but increasing in short rows and they're starting to uh, lose my mind a little but I powered through I powered through and then 
Let me just see you gotta <laughs> it's all it's a little crumpled from being in the thing. So trying to figure out which is I think I'm doing the front right now. So <laughs> it looks like a baby sweater. And I I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm a little concerned, but, but I also know that, um, this is being knit out of Knit Pick Stroll Tweed in the Lost Lake Heather, um, colorway. And I find Knit Picks, uh, blocks out fairly generously on the Knit Pick sweater. But by the way, oops, <laughs> what am I wearing? I'm wearing my, not my Pantilla, my Granito sweater. Um, and I think last episode or the episode before that I was saying how this was probably um my least favorite sweater but then I put it on today and I was like why is this my least favorite sweater I like this so I don't know it must just depend on the day <laughs> um anyway that this is uh Hokey Locatelli by the way and yeah I think that's about it I knit this out of knit pick stroll tweed as well in the indigo colorway. Although to me, it's really more purple than indigo. <laughs> so anyway, uh, this is, I'm just gonna see, try to figure out the best way to show this. Um, okay, that's the shoulder and that's the shoulder. So this is now, here's the thing. <laughs> This to me feels like it's a little off center. Okay, is that just me? <laughs> so I'm wondering if what I'm thinking is, like, I don't know, I'm just, I went back and I looked at the pattern to make sure that I am doing the correct space spot, whatever, um, for the front. So I think these sections here, I don't know. See, now I'm looking at it and I'm getting paranoid, but, but yeah, I don't know. I think it just doesn't look right to me. But when I look at the pattern, it tells me that I'm in the right space. So I just don't know. Like I feel like this is, because if you look at the schematic, I think I'm supposed to be doing this part here, like starting to kind of knit down this way. But if you look at the spade, like it's just really narrow. So <sighs> just, I just, I, I think I'm knitting. Am I knitting the wrong part? But maybe not. But maybe. <laughs> I think I'm doing something wrong, but I don't know what I'm doing wrong because when I look at the pattern and I look at what I'm doing, I'm like, no, that's what I'm supposed to be doing. I think that's the shoulder. I don't know. So I am going to have to really sort of stop. <laughs> it was like great for the hair. And and take a look at what I'm doing because I just feel like I feel like I'm doing something wrong. And I don't know what. But see, this is the sleeve here. And then this is the sleeve here. 
So if these are the sleeves, then this would be the back. Then what the hell is this here? <laughs> so I, I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but and maybe I'm not doing anything wrong. Maybe I just need to trust the process and go through it. But I think I'm doing something wrong. So I'm going to have to stop and see if I can figure out, am I doing something wrong? And do I have to rip back? Because if I have to rip back, I, I may just set this aside and do the sweater hug by Skein Deer next. Because honestly, I don't think I'm in the headspace to rip something back right now after the last couple of weeks. I think if I had to rip something back, it would just not go well. It just wouldn't go well. <laughs> so, so um, I got to figure that out. I got to figure out what I'm doing. Oh, yeah. I'm trying this new shampoo that I got sucked into on an Instagram ad. I'm that person. Um, and it's called New Wash. And I kind of like, it's not like I just like said, oh, that looks cool when I bought it. I kind of did some investigation into it first. But it's basically like no sulfate, no paraben, kind of all natural. And it's supposed to sort of restore the natural balance of your hair that regular shampoos with sulfates and all the chemicals, blah, 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 strips out of your hair. Blah, 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 blah. So I'm always looking for for anything that kind of makes my hair healthier, especially the older I get, because your hair gets kind of more brittle and dry and blah. So anyway, tea break. Um, I did uh, kind of try it out. So it makes my hair feel so healthy and soft, like crazy healthy and soft. And you're supposed to eventually be able to go, some people can go like two to three days between washes. So that's easier in your hair because you don't have that. And then if you're blow drying your hair and all that stuff too, I just let mine dry by itself, but usually, but um, some people just wash their hair like twice a week with it. Uh, and that's all they need. And it stays like good. So I washed it yesterday morning and so far it's really nice, but I've been using it for a few weeks now and I actually really like it. Um, I was using Lush products before and I really love them too. Um, and I'll probably finish up using them once this is all gone, but I think this might be my new norm. I don't have to use conditioner with it. Um, it just, it's, it's awesome. Anyway, I forget where I was going with that. Tangent! <laughs> Uh, so what else other than the uh, sweater potential debacle? Uh, I have da, 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 started, well, okay, I haven't actually started, but I've gathered the yarn for the Habitation Throw by Curious Handmade, which is Helen Stewart. And I'm actually going to... This is how much I have left from the um, from the socks. That's a lot of yarn. That's probably almost half a skein. <laughs> um, and that's the thing where you have uh, small feet. It doesn't really, you always have like a good chunk left over. So I've been kind of picking out yarns, leftover yarns that I have. Um, and I'm going to go with mostly kind of, I think, soft and muted, and then every now and then kind of throw in a stripe with a pop of color. Um, you know, so I've got like some little leftovers like that. And then that one that I just showed you. Uh, what else have I got? I've got this one. And there's a little pop of color. So I've got, uh, oh yeah, and then these ones, these were the socks. Actually, I think, oh, I do. I have a full skein of that right here because I made socks for somebody for Christmas and it might've been my nephew and I 
love them so much. This was from Loghouse Cottage Yarns, so I love them so much I ended up buying another skein for myself. Um, but there's some like nice muted colors. I have a hat. I made a hat out of that. So I'm going to add this, I think, in with that. And uh, I'm probably, I think I might start that today. Um, take a look at the whole sweater thing. And then, uh, oh, you know what? I just realized I do have another, oh, there it is. I have another finished object. The um, shawl by Fiber Tales. So I didn't block this yet. I finished it. It's kind of, see if I can. So it's narrow <laughs> and uh, fairly long. I ha so I haven't blocked it and I think once it blocks out, it will be, I'll like it more. Right now, it just feels, I kind of, she had shown how to do the edge so that it wasn't uh, like as tight. It had a little give to it. Um, and when I tried doing it, it was just, I couldn't seem to get the hang of it. I don't know why. Um, and then, uh, so I just did it like kind of the normal way without that one extra step. And I kind of wish now I'd try to figure it out because it feels a little stiff. And then I did uh, Jenny's, stretchy bind off for the first time and it's it's a little sloppy in places but I think it'll block out okay um I do like the edge in the neat parts uh that that makes I don't know if you can see that very well but it kind of makes a nice little edge and very stretchy as advertised um so I'm going to I'm gonna knit nope <laughs> already knit it Kelly I'm going to block that probably this weekend. And then I think that'll kind of give it a little more, that's a good look, <laughs> a little more length uh, and stretch kind of give to it. Because right now it just it doesn't quite have the drape that I want. And I think if I were to do this again, I would definitely try to do the looser um, edging that she showed. Uh, but I may actually go up a needle size as well. I can't remember what needle I used on this. I think I probably just used like a, would it have been a three millimeter maybe? 2.75? I can't remember. Um, I may have, no, I don't know if I did a Ravelry project page for this. I can't remember. I think I did. Anyway, um, that's done. Um, so now I've got the habitation throw on the needles, but I do feel like I want to do another shawl. Um, but I don't know what one yet. I really want to do the Tammy Gore, um, color craze, but I have to learn brioche and I'm just like mentally so exhausted lately that I think I just need something a little more mindless. Uh, I don't know if I'm ready to <laughs> learn any new techniques, especially if I have to um, uh, take out any of that sweater, that's probably gonna be about as mentally taxing as I can stand <laughs> right now. So I might see if I can find um, something a little simpler. I've got enough shawl patterns in my, uh, in my library, I'm sure I can find something. Um, I may do the old vines again too, which I, uh, I've been wanting to do. The other thing that is on my needles is my second sock. I'm hitting up the second socks now that I had languishing um, for, this is Evie Knits and her self-striping um, yarn. And I think this one is called, I wanna say old fashioned Christmas or something like that. Uh, Evie Knits is a, um, is a Canadian dyer and she does awesome yarns. Like I think almost everything, not, not these ones, but almost everything in here is uh, Evie Knits. I'd say about 75% of my, uh, all of my self-striping yarn I think is Evie Knits. Um, 
I just love her yarn. So I've had the, <laughs> I had the cuff started. I'm knit using these, um, I think these are my Addy Turbo Lace ones. I really, <laughs> ugh, like, this is why I love my Chagos. This, this kind of annoys me when I'm knitting. I'm just like, I don't want to have to deal with that. <laughs> but I'm too lazy to actually change my needles. So <laughs> it's my own fault. Uh, so I've got this much done, which is literally <laughs> one row more than when I pulled this out and said I needed to finish the second sock, uh, I think an episode or two ago. So I just started these after I finished my spice cider socks. So these are gonna maybe get a little more love today. Um, and I'm gonna be doing the two, well, actually I've already done this one, didn't have the twisted rib on it because I just started doing that with my spice cider socks. Um, and then once I finish those ones, I'm going to do the second sock for these ones, which, is my uh, own colorway, the Forest and Sky one. I don't have any of that in the shop, which while well, I'm thinking of it, uh, there is a sale going on in the shop right now, 25% off everything. I'm just doing a clear out because I need to make room for new colorways once I, once I find some time to dye, um, where the dog's not getting in the way. Um, and uh, it goes until I think midnight of March 8th, which is Sunday, which may be when I upload this. So there'll be, um, but I did post on Instagram and Facebook that uh, the sale was going on. So there is still some stuff left. So feel free to go over uh, and uh, and fill your boots. And uh, yeah, that's that's about it. So I think, that is everything. I don't think there's that much else to tell you. Uh, the life stuff has pretty much been consumed by the move. Um, I was supposed to do a writing retreat, be on a writing retreat this weekend that I was hosting, but the weather today ended up being really crappy. So we decided to push it off uh, and we're going to do that next weekend. And of course, I'm going to be taking my knitting with me because yes, it's a writing retreat, but <laughs> it's I can't write 24 seven. So <laughs> anyway, uh, also I can think and plot in my head while I'm knitting a sock. So <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Multitasking at its best. Uh, so that's about everything I've got. I've got um, time today because it's going to be crappy weather. We've decided, uh, my husband and I have decided to call this a nothing day after he gets back from Costco. <laughs> because mama needs her oat cakes. Um, and then it's just gonna be a nothing day and we're not gonna have to go anywhere. We're not gonna have anything we have to do other than walk the dog. And uh, that's it. So I'm gonna let you guys go. Thanks so much for showing up, all you new and returning viewers. You guys are awesome. Uh, I'm going to work on pulling together the colorways. Uh, nope. <laughs> <laughs> the prize package. Um, I am hoping to get, oh, there's some more <laughs> crashing noises outside. Uh, I am hoping to get the um, new colorways dyed. Maybe I'll stash one of those in the prize package. And I think, I think that's everything. So I'm going to let you guys go. Um, and I'm going to get this edited hopefully today and up either the Saturday evening, which is today, which did I even say what the date was? It's March 7th, 2020. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so I will try to get that up either this evening or tomorrow morning. And until next time, I hope you guys are getting lots of stuff off the needles and on the needles. And I will see you in two weeks time. And until then, happy knitting. See ya.